Howdy, and thanks for learning about MS with me, Aaron Boster. Today, I'd like to take you along as I review the MRI of one of my patients with multiple sclerosis. Hey! We'll start by splitting the screen in half, putting her new scan that she just completed November 24th of this year on the left. We're going to be comparing it to a scan that she obtained five months ago, June of this year. The scan done back in June showed new disease activity. And if the new scan shows ongoing disease activity, this will confirm for us that our current course of treatment is not working. And so the scan is obviously very, very important. As we come down through the very top of the head, we're gonna to start to see some white spots. So like those white spots. Now these white spots are from inflammation caused by MS. I'm now going to catch the scan up that was done five months earlier here on the right so that we can compare those lesions and make sure that they're not new. So now they're coming into view. And actually already I have a very serious concern. Look at this. These two lesions line up there. Look at this lesion right here on the new scan, which I'm not seeing on the scan over here on the right. So as I come through this lesion on the left, put your eyes right there. That's a really large lesion. Where is it on the old scan? Just before we move on, do me a favor. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Also, if you haven't yet, please consider subscribing to the channel. It helps out the algorithm and lets YouTube know that you like what I'm doing. Let's try to better characterize it. I'm going to change the pictures around a little bit so I can show you two different views of the MRIs that we're looking at. You see my cursor is cutting through this lesion and that's what we see down down here so that is that now by looking at the same side view or sagittal view on the old scan it helps us characterize this a little bit more so there you can see that if anything this one has gotten significantly bigger and so we have found evidence of an enlarged a t2 bright lesion the last thing that i want to do is to see if it enhances and so I'm gonna switch my screen around. I'm now only looking at the new study. I'm not looking at the old study. And I'm gonna change the sequence to after the administration of the contrast dye. And so the goal here is to see, did that enlarged lesion light up? And we're looking right here and I think the answer is no. What this tells me is that there is an enlarged lesion since the last scan, which was obtained five months ago, but it's not enhancing so it's probably at least a month old. And this has occurred in the setting of taking what is supposed to be a highly effective medicine. And so I think we have confirmatory evidence that it's not working. If you'd like to see more videos like this where I take you along as I review MRIs, of people impacted by MS, helping you better understand the anatomy and pathology of MS and how we use the scans to make decisions, leave me a comment in the section below. Until my next video or my next live stream, or even better yet, the next time I see you at the Boster Center for MS. This is Aaron Boster saying be safe and take care.